wonder how much they retail then. Where are we gonna put them? It's not empty, is it? So inventive. 10 out of 10 for that one. Hey everyone, welcome back. So about a month ago, I found out that you can bid on pallets of John Lewis returns, and that is exactly what I did. Sounds like a scam, but it's not, I don't think. So I was having a browse and I found this lot that had a few things in that I really wanted and the rest that I was pretty sure I could sell off. Now the issue with it is they are raw returns. So they could be anything from a return because someone wanted a different color, all the way up to it's broken, it doesn't work and there's parts missing. Now John Lewis is a really reputable company, so a lot of the things they stock are really nice things. So I decided, I was gonna bid on this lot, and this is how it went. So guys, there is literally two minutes left of this auction. I'm currently the highest bidder. Oh my gosh, 11, 10, 9, right, I'm out. I, I'm, my highest bid's in. Did I get it? We won! So fast forward a couple of weeks, I paid for my lot. I had to pay the price that I wanted, plus 55 pounds shipping, and it has just been delivered. So I am about to go and get it. I couldn't get it delivered to my house, so I've gotta go and pick it up from where I got it delivered. But I don't know, like it's, it's a palette of returns. Like what the heck? Like. I can't wait to show you what's in there. I can't wait to figure out, do the things work? Are they broken? I mean, the idea is I keep the bits I want. There's a few bits that my family want, so they'll purchase them and then I sell the rest off. So let's see. Watch everything be broken and nothing be worth anything and me have spent all this money um, for nothing. You gotta take risks. So apparently I seem to think that uh, spring is here. If not, I'm gonna be cold. But it's fine. So I just got here. I'm waiting for my dad to come out. I did ask him to bring a Stanley knife or something of the sort so we can open it. But I can see the pallet. <laughs> it's massive. Um, it's massive. I guess I've just got to get into it and just see see how it's all uh, packaged. But oh my goodness, how exciting is this? Exciting. Oh, very. <laughs> Okay, so it's two separate boxes. How mad is that? Just a casual shark and just, just a few Dyson hair products. Oh, I didn't know there was, oh yeah, that's the GHD hot brush. Oh my goodness. Look, there's the coffee machine. Look, <laughs> just a casual Dyson hair wrap, no biggie. This looks fine. Do you know how much these are retailed at? I haven't got a clue. £449. What the heck? Okay, I mean, this is mad. This is still in the box. I mean, it doesn't say what's wrong with them, so I guess we're gonna have to like test them all and figure out. There's the Dyson Big Ball, the stage coffee machine. That's are you putting possible. all this in your car? Or yeah, you... I think you'll be able to. It will, it should all fit. Yeah. Yeah, get a ring in. I'm back in the car. Sorry if that footage wasn't that great. My dad's not the greatest like videographer, but oh my goodness, my little car is full. I'm gonna head home and uh, take it onto the kitchen. We'll unbox everything, see what's in working order, what's not, if there's anything that I need to kind of get refurbished before I kind of pass it on. Although a lot of it looks, you know, like, Right, I mean, most of the things have boxes. Obviously, I don't know until I try them, but it's a good sign that a lot of them have boxes. Ew, this something slimy. How ridiculous does this look? Oh, wow. I know, right? Just a casual few Dyson. Just a casual GHG hot brush. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, look, shark. I know. Where are we gonna put them? Oh my God. <laughs> Literally. What do you think? Mad. Yeah. Do you ever have those times where you have a really good idea and then you hit the what now point? Now I'm at the what now point. I'm gonna make a coffee and then we'll figure out what to do next. <laughs> okay, I've got my scissors. I've got my, my coffee's up there. I've got my coffee. Let's go into this bad boy first. This is the Dyson Airwrap. The retail price of this is £449. I actually do own one. So the actual storage container doesn't look damaged, but they do come with a box brand new and this one doesn't have one. So let's open this up. Watch this person have ordered it because they were missing a part and they've sent it back and kept the missing part they had or broke or whatever. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Everything looks like it's in 
the right order i mean it's definitely been used because generally these come with kind of paper around them is there any hair on any of them yes lovely obviously i'm going to try it out and see if it works when it's plugged in and things but i would assume with an item like this they probably ordered it tried it and just not got on very well with it because the air, air wraps are quite tricky to get your head around if you you know don't use them very often but it looks like it's in incredible condition it's a bit dusty so they've definitely not used it for ages but yeah that still looks awesome let's have a look at the ghd smoothing hot brush it doesn't look like oh there is a hair on it so i actually have this again and it's really really good and again i would assume with something like this it's probably something they've tried out and just not gotten very well with because it's a very niche product if you like that blow dry kind of flick at the end of your hair you can get this with this amazingly if you like it smooth this is great um, but I know it's not for everyone. This looks like it's literally been used once. I mean, GHDs rarely break, so I can't imagine. Look, it's still got the plastic thing on the end, so I can't imagine it will be like fully broken. I mean, I've had pairs of GHDs for like 10 years. They're literally invincible. Yeah, it's fine. It's working. It's heating up. So it's in full working order. I would assume someone just didn't get on with it. <laughs> my hair but i should probably disinfect it first <laughs> i think the thing with both of these products so far they've been very hyped products so they're things that you might see your friends have or see people get for christmas or people try on the internet and you're like oh amazing like i want to try that but actually you know maybe they're not quite right for everyone i haven't actually ever tried the dyson corral we have two different ones here now i don't know what the difference is this literally feels like it's not even been opened. This is so heavy. I actually don't know what they do. Oh, this comes with a brush. Okay, let's open this one. So the box is a bit damaged, but it's still got the box. Presented so nicely. Okay, so you get your little like heat proof mat and I guess carry case because this is like a rechargeable straightener. It's so interesting. I've never tried it, but you don't, please tell me it's in here, <laughs> but you don't actually have to have it plugged in when you straighten your hair. So you charge it up on like the dock and then yeah, it's handheld like this. Oh, it's so interesting. Oh, it says flight flight mode there's an airplane is that does that mean flight mode or am i being like dramatic is there really not a flight mode when it comes to straighteners there are definitely signs of use with the brush there's some hair on it and the comb i mean i don't really think hair would get stuck to that but there's hair stuck to the brush so that's been used um so that needs completely disinfecting it would be so helpful if they gave like a diagnostic of what's wrong with it but i guess that's such a waste of their time when they can just put these things on sites and be like there you go buy it <laughs> yeah so everything looks to be here in this set so that's amazing it's got the instructions oh it is a flight ready tag before you fly pull out the flight ready tag to disconnect the battery that's so cool this one actually feels a lot sleeker just, they've obviously got a massive battery on them because there's massive battery warnings everywhere. To be honest, the thing that I'm most excited about in this whole haul of things is the coffee machine. And as I was carrying it in the house, it was leaking water. So that's obviously, you know, is it broken? Who knows? Oh my goodness, this literally looks like it's been opened and packaged pretty much straight back up. Look, everything's there. We have the carry case again. The Oh, they've pulled the flight safety thing out. Good thinking for transport. <laughs> Is that how it comes when you first buy it? Because there's a little bit of, of like foam there. Can you see that? So it doesn't go in. They've definitely stuck everything back on literally exactly how it came. So that won't actually go in there. Let's have a look at this Dyson Corral. The little pins are straight. Whereas on this one, the little pins are wonky. Um, I feel like that's a doable fix. I know a good electrician who <laughs> can just bend them back into place with some pliers, I hope. Um, if not, I feel like it could be replaceable. I don't think that's like, you know, the end of the world. I don't think that's something that's going to make it, you know, unusable. But it's definitely something that needs seeing to. And that's why they sent it back. The prize for the best return package goes to this person here. If you're watching at home, please... Please claim this because this is just fabulous. Like, honestly, so inventive. 10 out of 10 for that one. Oh, I thought it was a spider, but it wasn't. I have to go and do a meeting and then we'll do the coffee machine. All right, team, I'm back from my meeting. My mum has joined me. What have you filled my kitchen with? Returns, mum. Glorious returns. What's that on the floor? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was a spider and I jumped out of my skin about 20 minutes ago. Can I come around the other side? Yeah. Okay, so this coffee machine retail is about £2,000. It is my dream coffee machine. Um, 
So if we can fix this, I shall be keeping this. Is this, this the reason that you ordered all this? Yes, because if I can keep this and sell the rest off, it's a cost neutral coffee machine. It's cost me nothing, okay. except time and effort, which is worth it. Cool. So, Well, that looks brand new, the way that's all packed. Well, it's, I don't think it is because of the water that's dripping down my leg. Good point. This looks like a descaler of some sort. Okay, so, oh wow, it's got all the instructions. This doesn't look like it's been, guys, it doesn't look used. Oh, it does, so. It does not look used. I mean, oh my goodness. If this, if this is good, I'm gonna be over the moon. Okay. It's very glamorous, isn't it? It's either gonna be what they didn't want, yeah. or there's something wrong with it. So it's figuring out what it is. But looking at the rest of the stuff that's come with it. But like, have that. they opened it and tried it and realised it's defective? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's still got the stickers on here. It's still got packaging on the back here. And you know, like, was it a gift? Did the husband try and do something nice for Christmas and get it wrong and the wife had a tantrum and didn't want it? Do you know what I mean? And it's still got all the stickers on the machine. That's not been used, the milk frother. Aren't they always tested as well before they're sent out? Are they? I think so. Isn't it beautiful? There's a tiny, tiny dent on the back here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Just here. Oh, yeah. But the it back. looks like original packaging. This is all like... This doesn't even look like it's been opened. It hasn't. No. I, I think we might have done it, you know. I think this might be. It is beautiful. Look how shiny it is. I know. There's a Sage um, ice cream machine that I really want as well. It's a Heston Blumenthal collaboration. Is that the and one we saw in Wayne Wait Rose? Rose. So I'm hoping there'll be a return of that at some point. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Literally what I paid for the palette for all of this is the cost of this brand new. How crazy is that? It's, it is beautiful. And this is the one thing that I desperately wanted. Obviously it's really handy to have the vacuums because the, um, I think two of them are pet ones. We have dogs and we have a lot of hair in this household. Um, <laughs> I can't, it's stunning. This has been on my wish list ever since I discovered it, but really, like the current coffee machine I have is that one. It's the um, Nespresso Latissima Pro, I think it's called. And this is like 300 pounds, but obviously 300 to 2,000 pounds is a massive step up, isn't it? This one doesn't use pods, which obviously is way better for the environment, but I mean, obviously we recycle our pods anyway, but yeah, I mean, there's a few, look, there's a few dinks on the side, just there is a little dink. There's a couple on the back, but There's a me. couple on the back, what just there. Do you think it would be returned for something as simple as that? I mean, if you pay £2,000 for it, you yeah. kind of want it to be pristine, don't you? But to be honest, wherever I have this is always going to be tucked away somewhere, like with things either side. Right, mother's just changed. If you're confused, it's still the same day. It's like two seconds later. Um, but we're going to now unbox the vacuums. What one do you want to do first? Which one are you most excited about? One of the shark. Okay, so. What's just the difference? So we have the shark cordless upright mm -hmm. anti hair wrap. Also, we don't know what this is. I'm assuming a vacuum. And then we have the shark corded upright with anti hair wrap. So it's a corded version or a cordless version. Okay. Which so, one do you want to open? Uh, or do you want to open the mystery package? No, I'd like to <laughs> open the corded, please. Okay. Because I've got a cordless. Yep. Okay. So it's definitely been used, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. It's a bit smelly. That's not been used. That's not been used. Is this some um, re recyclable paper? Is that why it's smelly? Or is it damp? I don't know. It looks like a long, long tube. Oh, is it going to be a jigsaw puzzle? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there should be instructions. Like you said, they're jigsaws, so generally you can replace bits that are broken, can't you, really easily? Yeah, this looks like it comes with a lot of bits. Right, what do you want to grab? Ooh, what? Interesting. <laughs> it looks like a petrol pump. Oh, get me. You figured it out. <laughs> you look like a Ghostbuster. Have you been researching? No, but I've, I've not seen it on an upgrade. Mum loves a good corded vacuum. I'm not really a fan. But I feel like they are good to have, aren't they? I think they've got better suction power. So if you're doing the edges and things like that. I've I'm going to give Mum the pleasure of doing this because I think I think we know what's coming. I think this is going to belong to Mum. I think this has found a home. It's not very loud, is it? No, that's good. Is it on minimum though? No. Oh, it's on max. Ah, what's that? Oh, so hard floor, 
carpet. So that's the carpet. Oh, what's this? It's a toggle. Yeah. Hard floor carpet. So guess how much that is retail? <sighs> I think they'd be about £300. They are £249 brand new. Are they really? Mm -hmm. How much are you selling this one for to me? £249. <laughs> I would say you can have it for your birthday, but I don't think that's a very good 50th birthday present. <laughs> Forty-nine. Well, then I'm still twenty-two. <laughs> Let's go and unbox the other shark and the other Dyson. Um, probably in less detail because Mum's not as excited about those. But let's see if they work. I want to open the mystery parcel next, which definitely looks like a vacuum of some sort. So this is what was in the mystery package. So I've just looked at how much these are retail, and they—it looks like it's been used once, doesn't it, Mum? Yeah. There is some muck in it, but a lot of the attachments look like they've just been kind of tested out and then not really further used. So guess how much it is retail? Okay, so I think a Dyson would be about 200 and I think these are quite expensive because I've seen their washing machine things. So probably about 299, 300. 679. <gasps> <No. laughs> yeah. So we figured out it comes with two batteries and therefore two chargers. On button. The suction is definitely good, it's there. It just, I don't know. Maybe it is great and it just because it's a lot quieter, I'm a bit like, it's very like minimal, isn't it? If you want like a really inoffensive vacuum, that's the one. So I've just done something and I want you to come and do it too. Open this. It sounds like a challenge. It's not empty, is it? No. What do you see when you see that? Um, a head. Yes, but what does it look like? Um, a Dyson hoover. Oh my gosh, it looks unopened. Oh, yes! <laughs> it looks a bit like a motorcycle helmet. It looks like it's not been opened. Okay. This is so brand new! It is, look. Oh my gosh, it's not even opened, has it? It doesn't look like it. Has that been tried? I wouldn't say so. Okay, no. so I've just opened the cordless shark. We've got some instructions, and again, this li really looks like it hasn't been used. That's never had dirt in it, has it? No, definitely not. Like I said, obviously we will. Oh, is it bags or is that a storage bag? That's it a storage like bag. A storage bag. For obviously we will. Bits. Yeah, obviously we will test them, but just not right this second. So that just looks like unused. Yeah. So this is the final one. It's a cordless fax. I don't know about you, but I would assume that that's not actually been taken out of the packaging. Still got the paper on oh, the, the plastic. plastic. Oh, I cut my finger, by the way. Yeah, so what are we saying? I mean, we're assuming, obviously we'll test it again, but assuming that that's been unused. Yeah. The madness. All right, well, let me take you upstairs and we'll summarize. So to summarize, it was definitely worth doing if there's something in the lot that you want to keep, but unless you're able to get like a lot super, super cheap, then you're not really gonna make the most profit with the fees and everything you have to pay on top. So as like a money-making scheme, it's definitely not it. But if there are certain products that you want to get at like a discounted rate and then maybe like sell the other few products off or like to like friends and family or whatever, then yeah, I would say it's potentially worth the risk. But I did some research and I found some people that kind of do this like full time and I reached out and they basically said that there has to be a limit of what the lot price is and if it goes above that it's not profitable and they said it's only every so often that you manage to get a lot at a price low enough to make it worth it to make a profit so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video it was so much fun and I will see you in the next one bye